Hello and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Marta and today I will be diving into my Makeup Geek Power Pigments that I have here. Um, I did get this quite a while ago from Beauty Bay when they were selling out their Makeup Geek products and most of them I got for like 22, 22 Norwegian krone, which is about two dollars or something and the yellow one I got for like half a dollar so they're, they were really really cheap when I got them so and now I saw that they're like retailing for between seven and eight dollars which is quite a lot but yeah today I just decided that I wanted to play a little bit with these and to use my with love cosmetics glitters for the first time on my eyes because I just repanned them into these tiny uh, or smaller 26 millimeter pants and I just think that these glitters look so so beautiful so I just really want to try them out and see how they wear on my eyes so I might just do a wear test where I come back later in the day to show you how the glitters held up and that will be in the end of the but now let's just jump straight into the eyeshadow look for today's look I really want to go in with this blue and maybe this lighter blue tealish one and we'll just see how it goes. I'm just dipping into this one first. And I do have my Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define on my lids, which by the way are a little bit dry because of my allergic reaction still. So I don't know if that's going to show when it comes to the performance of the pigments. But I'm just at least starting with this blue with a purpley undertone in my outer corner of the lid. And I don't know if I'll just make it easy and just make a blue smoky eye with the glitter on top. We'll see. As usually I just buff out the edges a little bit while making sure that the pigment is still visible when looking straight forward. The first brush I was using was just a random brush from Wish, but now I'm using the Kaleidos S5 brush, which is like a small blending brush. And I will just be packing on this more turquoise blue, and I will just pack it on right on the edge of where I put that other blue. And I am also making sure that I'm not dragging it too far up just because I don't want it to grip onto the tacky base. So I will just basically place it and then buff out the edges a little bit and then I'll go in with some translucent powder to set underneath my eyebrow and then I will try to blend it better. At least that's what I usually do and that usually gives me a very nice blend. But I am like seeing tendencies of a small line here so I'm not sure if it's because the pigment might not be that uh, that it might not work as well with a wet, wet base like my other eyeshadows usually do and then I'm going in with that lighter blue just to sort of try to blend out the edges here even better So it's not like the best blend that I have with matte shadows, as you can see there is kind of a line, but I try to work on it for quite some time and it just doesn't really change it. So I'm just going to go in with uh, this beautiful glitter right here, which is called Imperial and it is from With Love Cosmetics. I'm just using my Kaleidos S4 brush to pick it up. And it is kind of like loose, as you can see, so you have to be kind of careful. And then I'm basically just going to pat this onto the whole lid, I think. Sit on my bed, I got nothing to do. Take on my phone one second, right to you. I'm really bored. Please don't ignore. 
Started as fun, now I randomly know You love rainy days and you still live at home It's cool to see You're real with me Oh no, we've never met And things like this never last But every time you text back I can't help but reply with hearts in my eyes I think I really like you but I never say it straight to your face I think I really like you but I don't wanna repeat my mistakes And I guess I'm kinda scared of meeting you in person Cause you're really cute I think instead of sliding to you DMs like I said I think I really like you but I never say it straight to your face Been a few weeks and we're keeping this up Difficult to deny we're on the cusp of something more Can't be ignored I let you know every part of me All of the nuances no one else sees We talk all night I read then type Oh no, we've never met And things like this never last But every time you text back I can't help but reply with hearts in my eyes God, I really like you but I that is my finished look using a couple of my Makeup Geek Power Pigments and some of my glitters from With Love Cosmetics. And I will probably just do a small wear test because I'm going to work now so I can just film a like, tiny little cl clip when I come home from work to show you how the glitters hold up on my eyes. So I will just insert that here. I'm literally right home from work. I was done around 11 and now it's 20 past 11. Um, so I just thought I would show you how the glitter is looking like. Obviously I will get marks here from my glasses but as you can see I have a little bit of fallout. It's not really that much but it's mostly here where my glasses are hitting my cheeks but if we oh my god <laughs> if we look at the glitters it's actually not greased at all. So I'm guessing maybe I just put on a little bit too much because I have some fallout. But honestly, the glitter itself is looking really pretty. So yeah, that is actually how it's looking after nine hours of wear. Since I did put this on around two o'clock and it's already past 11. And I do really love how this look came out. Uh, I think the pigments are really, really pigmented. Um, they blended okay, they're not like the best eyeshadows that I have, but they're quite good. And the glitter is obviously super super pretty i love it and i'm just really excited to see if it's going to hold up or not and it seems like it will because it's kind of creamy but not the bad kind of creamy but uh yeah i also did end up using my um Kaleidos makeup lucid lip in the shade crystallize which is a gloss with some blue and teal and a little bit of purple glitter in it but it's not like super obvious on the lips especially when you don't have under anything underneath and for highlight i just used my super shock highlight in the shade guilty pleasure which is like a peachy pink so i didn't use any blush today because i used this one but yeah that is my finished look i hope you liked it and yeah comment down below what you think of it if you do like the glitter <laughs> and uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content from me. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!